Well, this is where we are. Wow. Got all kinds of stuff here and there. Hunting and fishing. Oh, okay. All righty, let's go see what's inside. Cabela's with king corn. Picture won't focus. There it goes. Must be a paranormal trying to get through. There are all kinds. I don't know if anybody has the Cabela's where they live at, but just comment. Below, so yeah, I got a Cabela's in whatever state you're in. It'd be nice for me to try to step by and, and go look. It might may, might meet you there. Don't know. Gotta know what state it's in. This one is in West Virginia. Hey, in Charleston. Ready? And this is my wifey Lenny. Hello. Hi. Should go see the fishies. <laughs> We will do a walk through, see if we can walk you through. I get my finger in there all the time. A bunch of knives. So what do you think about? It's nice. Nice. Yeah. There's a king of corn. He's waiting for us over there. Like I said, if you all got a Cabela's where you live, just let me know on comments on what state. I'd like to go down there and visit. But I don't know if it looks like this, what you all got. A buffalo. All kind of mountain caribou. There's a there's a kitty kitty up there. Wolverine. Yeah. Big skull. There's a grizzly bear. I don't want to get tackled him up around either. And for the people who doesn't like stuff animals, I do apologize, but this is what they have here. I can't control what they have and don't have in here. I just like the film. The more likely these is probably died of natural causes probably, I don't know. A bunch of them up there. See, this is a uh, Barron County Caribou Wolf. Look at this cat. That big old deer. We got the moose. Billy goats. We got a waterfall over here, too. We got a porcupine. Well, I know everybody's got a raccoon. I think that's a cougar. Nope, sorry, mountain lion. Here we got fishies. See that? The 
does your all's Cabela's have a fish tank like this? I know Bass Pro does. Bass Pro is a little bit bigger than what this is. A big old trout. I've never had any fish like that before. I tried, but didn't like it. Unless I cooked it the wrong way. If you have any ideas how to cook these suckers, what was that? Here's what it looks like. how thick this is. Look at that. It's like this is a hard to tip my finger. Uh, see, tip my finger is there. Actually it's about a length of my finger. This yeah, finger here. Yeah. It's thick was that what five inches thick? Uh no, I'd say a good three. It's got about the length of my finger. Man, I can't fish you. I fish for those suckers all the time. Here, kitty, kitty, fat, kitty, 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 fishy. I fish for those too. A bass. Looks like. Let me come back over here. And here's my wife, Lynn, again. Hey, Dad. I got your size. This is my size. They have... They have to... I've already got that already at the house. Well, they have the fish one, 4X. Right there. What Nathan has. $14.99. Nah, too much. And they used to be five dollars. That was probably what? That was like six years ago. Man, fifteen dollars for a shirt now. I'm El Cheapo. Son, this is America. Anything for five dollars just to get talked about nowhere else. <laughs> more close. Uh, more close. <laughs> I'm gonna go that way. This is what it looks like though. I try to make long videos for you all. If you want longer videos, let me know. This is all the hats they've got. These are what, 12 to $16 a piece. There's eight. They used to be five dollars, but look at them now. 14 99 for that. It's been six years since I've been up here. It's in Charleston, West Virginia, quarter G. So, I don't know. And there's more over here. I, I love hats. I mean, I've got so many of them pitiful, but I still like them. If they're the right price. See, they're $9.99. I used to buy $10 hats, but... I just got El Cheapo, didn't want to buy no more of them. There you go. A 4X shirt. I'm using a 4X and some 5 in the other, but real expensive. Right. I'm not sure if y'all head toward the fishing stuff. What they got down here? They hadn't said about me by film, not filming in there, so I guess I'm allowed to. 
Holy cow. This is what I love to catch, but I never caught one. Well, actually, I did catch one of these before. I'll tell you how, how I caught one before. I'm going to show you here. This right here, I caught a fish probably about the one on the right side here. Not that big one, but this one over here. Uh, I call it mud dogging pretty much. What you do is you go into the creek underneath a bunch of logs or you go into a big hole and just stick your hoe in and harm in there. And believe it or not, those sucker catfishes snatches onto it. People call it a different name though. I just call them mud dogging. A couple times I got lodged into the creek. I couldn't get out. I was stuck. Took three guys to pull me and that sucker out. I about drowned. I don't do that no more. Too freaky. Lucky I didn't get no stamping turtle on my hand. That would have been it for me. Alrighty then. This is pretty much Bass Pro. Not sorry, Bass Pro. That's Capella's. But some more stuffed animals over there. I'm probably running almost 11, 12 minutes. I can just do a 15 minute video as I'm allowed to do. Until my channel gets bigger. Like, let me have more minutes on it, I guess. So if you like it, please flick that. Flick it, flick that like button. Because more of those like buttons flicked, more YouTube sees it. And more uh, YouTube recognizes my channel. And they can let me do more stuff. Like I said, I need more subscribers. Or family members, crappy pants, fans, or whatever you want to call yourself. Crappy pants fans. Alright, I'll let you see the fishies and I'll let you go into there. See the catfish. He's peeking around the corner. I see you hiding. I see you. Where's your buddy at? Hello. We're over hiding. I see you. Click that like button and get more subscribers. You have a good day. Love you guys. Bye. Sorry about that. I wanted to show you this real quick. Oh, that looks neat looking. I wouldn't mind going into that. It's a portable cock tent. Cool. Now this is what I do right here. This is what I do on my spare time a lot too as well. I do mill detecting. I've got a one mill detector. It's not that good, but it's, hey, it's an Ace 250. 150, I'm sorry. These are the more expensive ones. But that's what I do. Good gosh, what a good looking woman. Hi. And right here. That one there. And I'm just wondering if that's what I heard down in the creek. Warming around or not. I'm hoping I get this part two in here. Any more stuff here. Camping tents. Oh, that's a caribou and a wolf. Uh, I don't think we have wolves in Ohio though. Those are cods. A bigger dumper cod. A big old tent. Okay, Six ninety nine. Oh, man. I'm actually in the tent. I'm actually six foot two. I'm standing right in the middle of it. I don't know if you can see or not. No. Oh. Here's a good one there. This is another part of it here. All right. 
You got generators and stuff back here, more tent equipment. All right, then. Now, this is definitely the last one. Flick that like button. All right, love you guys. Bye.